The Navy Motion Picture Service is proud to bring you the following presentation. A new vibrancy sparkles to life in Philadelphia with the onset of each spring. It is a period that hearkens both renewal and discovery. For a great many Philadelphians, it is a season to renew interest in athletics. And for those fans, what more appropriate time of year can there be for the discovery of a new and explosive professional sport? This game is played by the Philadelphia Wings from April through August at the Spectrum. The face-off begins at 8 p.m., and soon after, you'll understand why it's known as the fastest game on two feet. It's called Pro Lacrosse. Visiting the Onondaga Indian Reservation outside Syracuse, New York, an understanding of the background of lacrosse was gained. While pro lacrosse is a recently developed concept, the origin of the sport can be traced back over a thousand years to the North American Indian. It was he who developed this truly American game, and it is fitting that an Indian viewpoint be presented as an historical perspective to this age-old sport. Tekeyaki, the buffalo that's here, that you're looking at, are standing on the land that belongs to the Haudenosaunee, the Six Nations, the Iroquois. This is the Onondaga Nation, where you are. And I'm one of the Onondaga chiefs. And in this time, in this place, and perhaps even right here, because it's big enough, Maybe lacrosse was played a long time ago. Lacrosse, what you call it, and what we call it is kachikwae, which means they bump hips. Right around here, there could have been at one time anywhere from five to 500 to 1,000 men on one side playing. And the length of the field, anywhere from 80, 100 yards to four miles, five miles, Whatever the tournament area may be, when the creator first presented us with this great game and where we used it for tournaments to raise the hearts of our people, to bring great life to our children, to entertain and playing in front of nations of people. This is a tradition. This is the sport that's played when someone is sick. This is a communication with the great creator to present to the creator that we have not forgotten the gifts of good life, of strength, of ability, and we do this and present to him the very best that we have so that he can see that we are continuing to be grateful for the gifts that have been given to us. It's, it's something that's more than a game to us. I believe in the cross, and uh, I was brought up with it, and I'll probably die with it, just as my father did and as his grandfather did. And so it goes on, and probably the oldest continuing sport in the world is probably roots right here. Carrying a proud and ancient heritage, pro lacrosse teams are now fielded in Philadelphia, Boston, New York, Maryland, Montreal, and Quebec. As a body, these teams comprise the National Lacrosse League, and to a man, they represent the finest players the sport has developed. The game itself consists of three 20-minute periods and is played in a 200 by 85-foot rink known as a box. There are six men to a side and play is initiated by a face-off or draw. The team which gains possession then tries to move the ball, cradling it in a lacrosse stick 
toward the opponent's goal line by either running or passing. There's a 30-second clock, and a team must get off a shot on goal during that time. After a save or loss of possession, the offense retreats to its own goal to defend against the opponent's attack. Using a man-to-man -man or zone defense, the players are permitted to vigorously stick-check an opponent. Slashing is also employed to knock the ball loose and prevent a clean shot on goal. There's one point allowed for each goal, and the Philadelphia Wings are always high in point production. Lacrosse is recognized as the national sport in Canada, and from its highly organized leagues, the majority of the National Lacrosse League players have come. Starting at age five, future stars are geared up to learn the basics. Soon after the face-off, in a local tournament, it becomes obvious that the fundamentals are learned early and well in Canada. For years, Canadian children have reveled in the game of box lacrosse. Kids in Philadelphia have not only inherited a new game to play, but new sports idols to worship as well. And as might be expected, it's the offensive stars of the wings that twinkle brightest in a young fan's eye. The offensive attack is not merely a collage of bristling shots and dancing nets, however, as a closer look at the game will tell. From the moment the ball is put into action, techniques and plays are used to overcome the defense. For instance, the ball carrier's defender is often screened out of the play by a teammate, leaving an open field to the net. Probably the most basic of all plays is known as the pick and go. 
Guarded by number 24, the wing's ball carrier gets a pick from his teammate. At that point, number 30 is forced to switch defensive assignments. As soon as that occurs, the pick man breaks free to the net. Regardless of how well plays are executed, the goalie must ultimately be defeated. And that can often be a maddening task. psychologically brutal position and under the blistering attack of the wings a game can quickly become a nightmare of goals scored all-stars such as Larry Lloyd can slam the ball past a goalie at 100 miles per hour and while Lloyd can shoot winners from the point five foot eight Jimmy Wasson's brilliance is born of unequaled enthusiasm and unselfish playmaking. A superior athlete, Watson can blow holes through any goalie. In forward Terry Lloyd, the Wings have an MVP whose specialty is goals scored. In 1975, he found the net 113 times. Lloyd can generally be found battling near the net, outside the crease, waiting for the ball, and when it comes, his shot is quick and sure. One on one, there's no match for Lloyd's lightning stick. And while Terry Lloyd can pepper the goal, number 12, six foot six John Grant, represents a towering menace to all opponents. So vast is Grant's stick handling repertoire that it's virtually impossible to anticipate his next move. And when he unveils his backhand shot, you know you're watching a master of lacrosse. With the spirit, stars, and superstars that make up this young team, the Wings are insured of glory for years to come. A trip to the Wings locker room provides a good insight into the world of pro lacrosse. With a grueling five-month schedule, these athletes train in the most modern of facilities and are held together with miles of tape. As a full contact sport, Specially designed equipment often makes collisions and frequent stick slashing more visually painful than it is in reality. Have no doubts about it. Pro lacrosse is a hit and be hit world. And when you pick up the ball, contact is never far away. An offensive player receives are rarely forgotten when it's time to take the defensive. For many players, guarding your own goal is an excellent opportunity for retribution. The result is known as the Philadelphia Sound of Defense. <laughs> Why?
While opponents have long cringed from the wing's aggressively checking defense, no one arouses fear in the opposition the way number five, Derek Forbes, does. Forbes is an intimidator on defense, and the business end of his stick check is the most dreaded encounter in the league. with his policeman duties, Mr. Forbes spends considerable time in the penalty box, creating a man-short situation for the wings. In those times, team captain Carm Collins is generally the man to combat the power play. A scrappy, inspirational player, Collins is a superb and tireless defender. But what he does best is maintain possession of the ball regardless of how determined the opposition is to force a turnover. Although not the best athlete on the field, Carm Collins brings all the intangibles to his style of play, and the end result is a man with a well-deserved C for captain on his sweater. At length, the ultimate defender is the goalie, his concentration can never lapse, and a study of Wayne Platt tells why. Call him out! Point him out, too! Terry, pressure him! Get out and meet him! Let's get him back, baby! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Take the ball, Larry! Take the ball! Precision and reactions of the goaltender are often obscured in the frenzied struggle to prevent a score, and only a subjective study can reveal his true artistry. Game faces in the Philadelphia locker room means an evening of entertainment at the Spectrum. The final scouting reports are offered, and the team listens to a pre-game talk as emotions crest for a national lacrosse league battle. And again, as I said, we go out there, these first few shifts, guys, and we blast, and we work, and we move, and we move that ball. Defense is going to win it. That's all we have to do is make that commitment. Defense is going to win it. Everybody goes. Everybody goes hard tonight. Come on, 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 come
Few sports can rival the speed and electrifying excitement of pro lacrosse. And for a glimpse into a game situation, commentator Gene Hart will provide the play-by-play. -play. And here come the Philadelphia Wings taking the box, led by roly-poly all-star defense goaltender Wayne Platt, and starting lineup Larry and Terry Lloyd, Bob Goulding, Jimmy Watson, and Captain Carm Collins. The Tomahawks and the Wings set for the opening draw as the Wings look on from the bench at the right. The opening draw... Ferguson against Medhurst. Look at Lipinski on the far side and McCormick jousting. This is going to be a tough one. The loose ball picked up at the Tomahawk line by Medhurst. The wings drop back in the 2-1-2, and here we go. Paul Ward now with the ball up the slot to test the Philadelphia defense. Right side to Keegan. Looking, looking, trying to find a man cutting through. Cross box pass. There's Brian Wilson. Cuts to the middle. Screen by Medhurst. There's a shot and score. Boucher's line is up. Come on, get ready. Boucher's line. Now the wing's back trying to find an answer to the New York defense. That's Glenn Ferguson to the left faceoff circle. Whacked that by McCormick. Whacked that again and loses the ball. Picks it up. Gets the screen from Rotson. Moves to his right. Cross court pass to Jones. Fakes left. Goes right. He's in. Score. Jones puts the Philadelphia wings on the board. And a great pass from Ferguson. Defense ready down there. Dominating play the Tomahawks. McCormick trying to go for another. Wheels right, goes left, screen shot, save flat. Chasers, chasers. Tomahawks trying to blow it open. Here comes Green, knocks over Watson. No Philadelphia defense, right up the middle, score. Oh, no. You got it, Kenny. Come on, guys, we're only down two goals. Let's pull this one out of the fire. The wings trying to get the offense going. Ron Ryan tries in the left wing corner. Nothing there. Loses the ball into the corner. Whacked that by Methurst. Fights his way out of the corner. Gets past Keegan. Rolls to his left. Right through the slot. 20-foot shot. Score! And the spectrum explodes with that one. An important draw ball, and the wings need this one badly. Loose ball, picked up by New York. Give him a shot, give him a shot. Moving on the attack, Paul Warden, as the Tomahawks look for insurance. Get on him, Larry! Press! McCormick still in that right wing corner. Man cutting through the slot. Wild pass, loose on the right side. Boucher after it, and the wings have a two-on-one. Go, go, go! Boucher, cross box pass to Grady, in shot, score! The game is tied, and the wings have a brand new ball. This line, Jimmy, hey, this is a big shift. You guys work your ass off on here for everything we get now, hey? We need one coming up, gang. We need one here. Here's the break of the game. New York penalty, Philadelphia power play, and the Wings can win it here. Lloyd to brother Terry. Terry trying to split the defense to Larry Ferguson on the left side. Back to Lloyd. The defense has moved out. Ferguson in. Scoot shot. You've now seen the brand of sport that you can expect to see from the Philadelphia Wings this spring and summer. When you visit the Spectrum, don't be surprised to find yourself suddenly on your feet cheering the newest and most exciting team in town. That's what pro lacrosse is all about. <laughs>